What's up everybody? Jesse, Dustin, Slot City Fishing. <laughs> Doing another subscriber meetup today. We're at Browns Creek Fish Camp getting some bait. We're going out in Dustin's John boat to a secret location. But uh, super good conditions out here today. So we're gonna try to uh, make it snappy. All right, dude, so this thing is going constantly, and then when you catch a fish, that top button, that's all you press, yep. And then it'll record the last five minutes. All right, dudes, we're out here. We've got the Evan Rude. Fish on. Fish on already, what? Oh, no, you just, it, you're good. It. Oh. Hit it again. Yep, and then just leave it. Nice. Trying to shoot an intro, my man's just catching fish on the first cast. Anyway, we're out here, super good conditions. I'll say temperature is probably in the mid 50s right now. It's supposed to get in the mid 60s uh, in a few hours. Hardly any wind, super good conditions. And they're obviously biting, man, but uh, we're using the deeper chirp sonar, but right now it looks like we don't even need it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Fish. 15 and a half. I'll Keep. probably release just just cause yeah. for bigger ones. Nice fish. Yeah. Well, that's a hell of an intro right there. Let's catch some more. All right, dudes. I'm editing this video as it's playing and I realized that so much action was going on in this video we probably caught a hundred fish that we didn't really do a good job explaining what we were doing as the day was going on there just wasn't enough time between landing fish and getting the baits back out and stuff so um, yeah I'm gonna keep bouncing back and forth between this camera and the video playing and I'm gonna stop and tell you exactly what we were doing what baits we were using how we were using them there's a lot of stuff to learn in this video but uh, if you had a heard of Slot City Fishing, we're three brothers, two of us are active duty military. So we do a whole lot of travel videos. Uh, we started off in Corpus Christi, Texas, yeah. Louisiana, um, the Panhandle of Florida, now the East Coast of Florida. So uh, lots of travel videos and stuff in there. We do tips, how to's, product reviews. So if you like this video, you'll probably like some of our other stuff. So uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can see when our, our other uploads come out. But this video was a subscriber meetup out of our Facebook group. If you aren't in there, join it. All of our members, they talk to each other, give local fishing reports. And uh, it's actually a really cool community page where people introduce themselves and they take each other out fishing. But uh, Dustin had a spare seat on his boat and he asked me to go and he posts some crazy catches in the group all the time. So I was like, yes, I have to do that. But um we went on in his john boat we started off trolling i'm gonna let some of this footage play and then after you see how ridiculous it was out there i'll come back to you and tell you tell you exactly what kind of lures and stuff we were using to make this happen Hey, fish, 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 fish. Damn, dude. Yellow mouth trout. Looks like. Oops, that's why I wasn't getting no bites on that. Woo! Oh, I'm on two, bro. Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nice trout. Big trout, bro. You got a net? Oh, 
Oh, it's a red. Let's keep it red. Fish. All right, man. First fish of the day for me. Nice slot red. Oh, shit. Thing is, we caught what, 10 fish? Oh, uh, yeah, I already lost count. And there he is. <laughs> Five minutes. Another little trout. Yeah. Better. Oh, yeah. For trout, about 13 and a half, 14. Fish. <laughs> Told you he'll come back. <laughs> Lay it there, it'd be good. There he is. Oh, come off. He'll keep. Huh? He'll keep. <laughs> Hey, left, right one didn't miss. Here, I got, I'll get it. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, it is real different. I'll take it out. It's a real good fish. It actually got some head shakes to it. A nice one, about at 17, 16, 17. Yep, that one will probably keep. Yeah, like 19, 20? Nah, 16, maybe 17. Yes. 16, got one for the box. All right, show you how we were doing this. Um, obviously we were trolling. Uh, we were in, that's a, like a 14 foot John boat and he had a five horsepower Evan Rude uh, two stroke outboard on there, but you could easily do this in a kayak also. We used to do this all the time in Pensacola offshore for like kings and stuff, but I never really knew how much people troll for inshore fish until I moved up to Northeast, Northeast Florida. But anyway, what we were using, um, we had five rods out at once. And then on two of them, we had soft plastic lures. On two of them, we had live mud minnows and then a rattle trap on another one. All right, so for the soft plastics, the lures that we were using, I'll show you my, uh, my favorite lure is this Down South Supermodel in mullet presentation. This is a custom run of this color, and every time that I see it, I buy it right away because you can't buy it in the stores, but uh, probably any of your favorite color would work. A really good one is uh, Chicken on the Chain. They sell that everywhere then you can buy this lure everywhere. This is the Saltwater Assassin uh, Dye Dapper. The package looks like this. Pretty sure they sell this at Walmart. They definitely sell it at Academy. And then Dustin, before we went out, was like, dude, you gotta buy these lures. And that's the Saltwater Assassin Sea Shad and Electric Chicken. And it's, it, it worked like crazy. All right, and then on my lures, uh, I was putting scent. This is David King's Stank Stick. You guys probably haven't heard of this around here because it's a South Texas thing. Um, but opposed to the other scent that I won't name, uh, that stuff like stays in the bottle. You probably only end up using like uh, three quarters of it. The rest of it gets stuck and it makes a big giant mess. This is like a chapstick style. You rub it on there. Uh, you can put it in your pocket. It doesn't make a mess at all. It's really easy to use. Okay, so that was the soft plastics, and they were on like quarter ounce jig heads. Then for the live mud minnows, what we were using is a wiggler jig. I think it's made by Buccaneer. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll post a picture up uh, right now on the bottom some, somewhere. That way you can see what it looks like. Uh, that was what Dustin was using. And then I was using a Carolina rig with just a, uh, I think it's a half ounce egg sinker. Uh, with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then these are my favorite hooks to use for live bait is these inshore slams by owner. You can buy these pretty much at most tackle shops. Um, and then for the rattle trap, we were using a silver half ounce rattle trap. 
Okay, this is how we were using them while we were trolling. Don't make fun of my artwork, I know it sucks. So here's the boat, that's me, there's Dustin. We had five rods out. On one side of the boat, we had the uh, my soft plastic and his mud minnow, and on the other side, his plastic and my mud minnow. And the mud minnows were down deep because the weights were heavy and the plastics were up on top. And then the rattle trap was out in the center, like behind the boat. So fish, they hunt their prey first by sound vibration. They use a lateral line as an organ in their body that senses vibration. And then the next thing is scent. And then after that is sight. So we were using the rattle trap, making a whole bunch of noise behind the boat to bring the fish in. And then once they were around the boat, then they had a whole buffet of things they could choose to eat. So uh, we had two different color soft plastics, the mud minnow, and I had the scent. So the rattle trap was bringing them in and then they could hit any of that stuff. And it was working like crazy. Uh, just a shameless plug for us, if you don't have any of these baits, we do have an Amazon affiliate link uh, in the description of this video and you can buy this along with a, a whole bunch of other kind of stuff in there and a little kickback kick back of that money goes to us and it helps us make more videos. So uh, we were trolling and then Dustin knows the area pretty well but I was also using Sonar. Uh, this is the Deeper Pro Plus. I bought this one like four years ago and then we were that particular day we were using this is the new deeper chirp sonar this thing is really legit it's got chirp technology which is multiple beams and frequencies that shoot out all at once it's the same kind of technology that's on my two thousand dollar fish finder on my boat so we were trolling through the deep holes with all them baits out there and just smashing them uh yeah so the next part of this video is we get to a, another area we drop the anchor and then uh i'll show you uh, some footage first and then I'll get back to you and let you know what we were doing there. You could troll through here 10 times and not hook any. Yeah. But you stop, put a bait down, mm -hmm. you hook them all day. But they like, they prefer the bigger trout like the mullet about this big. Yeah. The bigger the mullet, the better. I mean, I'll use a, or giant one. Oh, yeah, to a seven or eight inch mullet. You know, that feels like a better fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, much better fish. Oh yeah, dude. almost sixteen. You hungry? Keeper. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Took me throwing over there to get get him back on fire. This one feels better, bro. I'll see my over. That's definitely better. There's your mullet. No, that was a fish. Oh. There we go. You look like a nice one, too. Yeah. Yup. All day. All right, man. Slot City fishing. <laughs> <laughs> go to the slot. <laughs> yeah, put him in the slot. Yeah. This is really light action setup though. Yeah, no, that's not trout. That's why. Woo woo! You wanna take that way? Yeah. I'm trying to keep uh, away from the camera though. Yo, you're good. There you go. Electric chicken. Guess who decided to show up? Bro, he inhaled this. You're hooked up. Am I? Yep. I guess I could say. Quick release. Do you look? You hey. Shit, man. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> what? I ain't got the net, so. Fishy. Man, he's got a. He might do it. 
Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Three in the boat. Jeez. Here he is. Redfish. Hey, boy. Hey, Dad. If you, can, if you can wake me up, I can interfere with your fish. Well, I'm hooked up into a red right now. How many you got? Uh, six trout, one red, and we've probably thrown back 50 fish. Yeah. At least. Good pictures? Good video. We don't do pictures. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm hooked up to about a 22 or 23 inch red right now. He ain't okay, done his buddy. he ain't done his run yet. Bye bye. Called it right on the knot. Look at that red fish. All right. How big do you think he is? He's 19, 3 quarter, 20 inch. And that's the second keeper of red today, huh? Yep. Nice. What did I say? 19, 3 quarter, 20. <laughs> <laughs> that's the man right there. Cooler's getting bigger. All right, so for this next part, we were doing some of your normal type fishing. Uh, how we caught these guys was uh, Carolina rigs on the bottom with uh, half ounce weights with live mud minnows. Uh, we were casting like at the edge of the drop off uh, off the shoreline. And then I was bouncing off the bottom, uh, this same down south lure and covering that guy in this scent. And there's, a lot more catches on here uh, but I don't want to make this video too long but uh, I'm about to play you uh, like the end clip here and I'll, you'll see how many keeper fish we actually put in the box all right y'all it's a good day <laughs> I was gonna do it man what is it, like five o'clock now yeah it's about 4 45 so so from about eight o'clock till five ish we caught probably two or three four maybe the limits of uh, speckled trout and a bunch of reds too so crazy good day man uh, a lot of it was mud minnows I was throwing a bunch of different kind of paddle tails I was using David King's stank stick if you haven't heard of that it's a scent I'll put a link for it and uh, the majority of them were caught on electric chicken um, <laughs> salt, water. salt water salt water session yeah sea so. shad Killer day, man. Hey, Dustin is a uh, member of uh, the Slot City Fishing Group, and he's always taking dudes out fishing. So, highly, highly recommend you do it, man, because he taught me a lot of stuff. So, appreciate you, man. No problem, man. Yeah. Guys, catch anything? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's nice, man. So I hope you dudes learned something, man. I pretty much broke down exactly what we were doing so you guys could go out there and copy it. Yeah, if you liked the video, man, and made it this far, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're always doing stuff like this, how-to videos. Uh, that way you guys can learn to go out there and catch more fish. And then uh, join our Facebook group. And then we're always taking out dudes fishing, man, doing the subscriber meetup thing. We're about to do a 3,000 member giveaway. We're only 75 dudes short of that. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you liked it. We're going to do that giveaway. And then if this video gets a bunch of likes, we'll say like 100. I got a whole bunch of these extra baits that I ended up not using from that trip. And uh, I'll pick one of, the, one of the guys out of the comments. Leave some kind of comment down below. And then I'll pick one of you guys randomly and then send you guys some baits out there. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff on the radar for us. Uh, I called FWC and I asked what the rules were for starting fishing tournaments. And there basically isn't any. So I already have it recorded. Uh, we went out and did a kayak fishing tournament the other day with some local guys out of the group also. And it ended up being a super fun day. So that's the next video. It should be up here pretty soon. So, um, yeah, guys. Thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Did you guys catch anything? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice, man. <laughs>